True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. You know they really speak their truth. What the hell was that? Here, here. <laughs> what it do? What the business is? What is good? It's your boy Mel, and we are back in the building again, bringing that barbershop to the box office, baby. True View Podcast. Let's go. Nine. Sorry. Whoa, My y'all. Bad. Me? It's your boy Hyphen X, man. True View Podcast, man. Thank you all for rocking with us, man. I leave it to my guy. Smith and Hausenheiser. That's right. Wiener Schnitzel Farfik Nugent. This is grown man MJ. <laughs> Once again, thanks again for tuning in. I wish for y'all to subscribe and join the tribe, baby. I wasn't Let's expecting him to join in. I was not expecting him to join in. He caught me off guard. That's good. That's what's up. Oh yeah, it's, it's, go ahead, go, go ahead, man. It's just us, man. man. <laughs> I would expect him to <laughs> Okay, hey man, oh, cheers to that. Shit. Cheers to that. Cups up to, to a good episode, gentlemen. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ah, whew. All right, what we getting into today? Well. We are getting into, is it the Netflix original? I believe so. I believe so. Netflix. I believe so, my friend. Original, all quiet on the Western front. What is that, you might ask? Well, I will tell you this. The story follows teenagers. Paul Brommer. 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 Brommer and his Brommer. friends Albert and Mueller, who voluntarily enlist in the Germany arm, in the German army. Riding a wave of patriotic feet fever that quickly dissipates once they face the brutal realities of life on the front. Paul's preconceptions about the enemy and the rights and wrongs of the conflict soon crumble. However, amid the countdown of armistice, or the armistice, armistice, <laughs> I said, it, I said, it, on, I, did, no, I did get it you out. Did. Countdown to armistice. Paul must carry on fighting until the end with no purpose other than to satisfy the top ass, I'm sorry, brass desire to end the war on a German offensive. All quiet on the Western Front, a World War I story. Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I tell you, man, it was... The visuals were were very graphic and everything. It was definitely something to look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. So we gonna dive right in, um, man. I just like I I I, I like the progression, like how you start start out how the children. I'm gonna call them children because that's what they were. Mm-hmm. How they were so naive and ignorant to the fact. Like the war was going on, and this is World War One, and they were excited to get out there. And the progression throughout the film, how they kind of regretted their decision. I loved it. Not not only that, uh, the progression throughout the the film, as far as tempo, like that first ten minutes was storytelling, bro. That story, man, I was I was locked in uh, from the word go. On how that's on how this thing took off, as far as uh, as far as what you're saying as well, too. Yeah, the, the I, I feel like the coloring that they used, um, and we've been saying this a lot with the with a couple with the past couple movies that we uh, reviewed, but the coloring that they used, man, like it was so. I don't know. I I don't want to say monotone, but it was. Well, I. In a, in, in, in a, in a what, sense, what, what, what Mel, you I like get exactly from? what you're saying. Neutral. No, I get no, I get exactly what he's saying, and it, and it uh, it does have a neutral effect, but it does also have 
a colored list effect to the mm -hmm. color that is presented because it, it also makes you look at the world in a duller sense, yeah. like where there is no yeah. future. They legit uh, were just numbers. Yeah, <laughs> and and like when you look at uh, World War One on that front that they're talking about, the Western Front uh, on France and Germany or whatever, they said they fought for basically uh, four years, three, four years, and were gaining a mile or two gain either, mile. either, yeah, uh, either way at a time. Like, you know, no. so it was a stalemate the whole time, and millions of people died on the field. So seventeen it, million. For it, 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 it will definitely dull the brightness of the sun. You get what I'm saying? The battle of inches, man. Like legit, it was. But no, man, I'm I'm with you on hyphen with the uh, the progression or the the degradation of their hopes and oh. dreams. Uh, just watching them coming into it. I mean, they bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Oh, my goodness, we're going to be like heroes and shit when we make it home. If you make it home, motherfucker. Because when, right. when they started, like, when the bombs started dropping and them bodies started falling, whoo, that's a reality like, check for your ass. Like, even if we back it up from right there, like, when they went in and they were enlisting and they got the clothing, right? Yeah. They got the uniform. I, I, I like the way they show, like, hey, we taking these dead uniforms. Like, we're losing the war, y'all. Like yeah. for real, That's for real, we first losing 10 the minutes. Morning. I'm talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. they were washing this shit, and then they came back and he was like, "Hey, this belongs to someone else." Oh my bad. Like, yeah. you know have, you, have you all have you all ever thought of that concept of them recycling uh, yeah. Uni uniforms uniforms to give to new soldiers? I never thought of that concept until that movie. Well, I mean, I know and, and my family wasn't the only one that was that was using that because our show was using my cousin's clothes and stuff, and they, we had to get them extra baggy and stuff to make sure. Well, we I, knew, I knew oh, hand me downs. I knew hand me downs. My man said, "Just ain't no well, change." Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, like, you know, uh, soldiers are not even given the dignity to be buried in their uh, uniform, is what I'm saying. Right. Uh, and, then, and then they were just ripping uh, the tags off. Yeah, yeah. And they were saying, and they were saying at the time that uh, wool was not as resourceful as people were. Mm. Damn. That's deep. Well, that's that's deep. very deep. I said, especially with what they were, uh, they would, they were just patching them up, sewing them up. They had these warehouses just full of people, just with the sewing machines, and running them clothes. That through, shit man. was powerful, bro. That shit. Was, I, was I made like, my girl sit down and watch just that first ten minutes. I was like, you ain't got to watch the whole movie. Just watch this first ten minutes. That was crazy because it, it was it, it told you what war was about. You know what it I'm saying? Told you enough like for me. The, yeah, like yeah. how the. Uh, the uh, the generals, the older folks, had to lie mm. to the to the children. Let's call them who they are. To the children, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like they watching them coming in all bright eyed, bushy tail. But then when they made it, what was that guy's name? Who was the general Kit or Kid or whatever? Like yeah, he was right. like Cat. My Cat. man was like, bro, it's like it's like this every day. Yeah. It's like this every day, bro. Like. <laughs> Like, what the kids I, I say, what the kids though. say that that opening for me, what the kids say, it's giving uh <laughs> it's 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 giving propaganda, it's giving uh yeah. uh 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 inhumane loss of human life, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? It's giving uh bro, that shit yeah. has so much clarity for what was to come throughout the film that I thought it was the perfect setup. And uh, yeah. following that, leading them right into the actual uh, service, it, it, it only thing that was missing from that was like maybe a little bit of them training, maybe. But mm -hmm. uh, we can get into that in the short bus, definitely. But that was that was definitely one of my one yeah of my yeah. Uh, but well, I, 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 well, I thought I, I, the I'll, action. I'll push back on that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll push back on that. I think that it, the lack of showing, the lack of training showed the importance of just having bodies on the field. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, they just needed it, they, like they just needed Because they were entering, what, three years into the war? Uh, and like I said, the war was like about four months and a, four months and a half almost, basically. Mm -hmm. No, that's a good take, Mike. I mean, four years and a half, basically. Good take and a good point, Hyphen. Um yeah. Yeah, man. Like it was, it was, 
I don't know, man. It, like I really, I think I, I honed in more on the emotional degradation of our main character, Paul. Uh, yeah. For him to watch his friends and shit just dropping like flies around him, and and towards the end of the movie, you can see him kind of hardening up. Like he's he's doing what he has to do to survive. Like I'm gonna make it home, god damn it! And he got, yeah, at this point, man, bro. <laughs> And man, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it for you, people. So you guys go ahead and get that a good watch. But well, it's not necessarily ruined because the story's been told before in in all the other versions, uh, which were told in 1930 and 1979. The main character has to perish. Oh really? Uh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, so uh, for him to make it that close, then, and basically it ended. Bro, we talking about we we talking about seconds. He was like, "We we talking about it. yeah." And for him, cease to, fire. Oh my gosh, dude! At the and end, how like the uh, I, I can't remember who the uh, initial uh, well this version of, of this version world. here. I do. I'm sorry about that hyping, but this version here and it's kind of oh. along the same line you were going. It does highlight a lot of the. Uh, you know, generals, higher ups, uh, that were making decisions for everyone. Just saying and on that the were ass. yeah, and, and that were not necessarily involved in the conflict, but were right, sending, based off their uh, ego. Yeah, but were sending thousands of people to their death based on their ego and uh decisions that they should be felt felt should be made for their country and uh homeland. Yeah. Cause my man's just like 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 we would we we need time to go over the uh, the demands for uh you know the war ended in a war or whatnot he was like bro we finna go ahead and attack them yeah like we about to go ahead and attack them and this is how Paul ended up dying you know what I'm saying like they attack and then seconds, seconds after Paul seconds. through the heart seconds seconds you know what I'm saying it's over with you know what I'm saying and it was bad. I, I felt bad. I was like, "Damn, Paul, you could have made it back." Well, in a in a like sense, you. in a sense, I'm I'm kind of glad y'all brought it up too, because I was gonna leave it. But in a sense, uh, I'm glad y'all brought it up. Like I said, it showed Paul's character, as as Lamel said, his uh his evolution from going from wide eyed to vengeful because mm-hmm. he saw all his his friends perish in in, in battle, and uh. That conversation that he had with Cat towards the end of the movie, it kind of signified that it's almost better to die here than go home with all of this. As a uh, loser. With all of this, like he said, all of this stench that you have on you and not having won. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you you don't really get the you don't really get the praise of a hero uh necessarily, but and you don't necessarily lose the, the uh the cost of your uh, morality that you have, you know, used as an expensive war. Man, dude. Like, who was the homie? Who was the homie who ended up, you know what I'm saying? Jajin or because whatever. He was like, I, can't it was I, can't, I can't say his name right. right. Jajin or some that was a that, that, that was a powerful scene for me. Because even though they were all brothers, you know what I'm saying, in war, like, they had soup and food for him, uh, Kat, and then the other guy, Paul hey man, what about guy. that fuck nigga who came and stole the soup when he killed himself? That, and that, 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 to... That's the. Hey man, I understood. That. Right, that's the part I'm rolling because once my man <laughs> off himself, <laughs> he was just like nigga. Hey man, you can't let this soup. Go. Yeah, like he not gonna yeah, eat it. Hungry, bro. And you not, you not and you not gonna, and you not gonna do shit to me. Like I was gonna let him. You eat know what I'm saying? Like you. Obviously, he ain't want to eat it. So. That's what y'all get because he to... said it's all. He said, it's over for me. Just to piggyback off what Mike just said, like, bro, we're not winning a war. I'm not going to be a hero. They're going to have to amputate my leg. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'd rather die here. You know what I'm saying? This is where I found out who I was. You know what I'm saying? Because after the war, I don't don't let them amputate take my leg sticking out to me. He was just like, bro, don't let them amputate me. Don't take that leg from me, man. I don't want to be a. See, they had the, they had I'd rather die the, here. Uh, in the one that I originally seen in night that came out in 1979, uh, 
and that friend ended up dying and there was a scene where uh he got the boots and all of that stuff but it wasn't like he committed suicide the same way like it was it was bogus but they had another scene mm. in there where somebody did try to off themselves but I like how they I like how they twisted things up with the characters in this one from the one that was uh originally came out in 1979. And the only reason I'm referencing the other uh films is because they all won awards. And I like the one I like the way they uh kind of transitioned through the periods of time. Like the 1930 film okay. was uh released in the movie theater, and that one won a, a you know Academy Award for that. The one that came out in 1979 was a TV, uh, was a TV release. Okay. And that one won awards. They won awards for that as well. And it's cool to see that this one is released on streaming, and uh, it's up for a, newer, a, a okay. newer platform. And this is also being nominated for award, which I think is well deserved. Yeah, best uh, international feature film. Yeah, it's yeah. Shout out to Edward. Uh, is it Edward Berger who did the direction on this? Oh, uh, yes, Edward yeah, Berger. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He yeah. also wrote it's it too. Him, so he had a hand yeah. in writing it. Uh, mm. you know, uh Leslie Patterson and uh Ian Scott Stockhill. And, and and I I really you know, you know, I'm often critical about the changes to uh what has been known to be the truth or uh what is known to be the uh the source. Uh, but the changes and adaptations that they that were made in this, I think, were perfect for the length of the film, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the way it was shot, because this was definitely done more so on the battlefield versus uh, from the soldier's perspective of going through life and getting connected. Yeah, I was I, was, I was never I wasn't really ever bored with this film. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like I was in, I was engaged. I was I was engaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was really engaged and intrigued about what was going on. Either it was a question being answered, or I had a a, 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 a question that I wanted to be answered in the film. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It had historical data to it. You know what I'm saying? Like even even the small scenes where they were uh, in the trenches using their helmets to get rid of the water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the boring, tedious things that are happening during war at that time. And Kit was like, it's the same thing every day. Like Cat. he Cat. Cat. Grab your nuts. Cat was his yeah. name. I was just correcting you. Cat. Oh, I'm sorry, Cat. And he was like, you know, even even when the boy was like damn near crying, you know what I'm saying? He was like, My hands are cold. I can't feel my hands. He Stick didn't chastise him. Pants. Yeah, he was like, put your hands in your pants. It works for me. Because he could he understood because he probably felt the exact same way. When he first came, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I like the film. It was a good film. In the, in no the first one, there's a it. there's a little bit more in, uh, character development, uh, and in that one, he does a lot of that with the new soldiers, and there's more, uh, I guess, battalions of new soldiers that come in. So you see the different layers of him telling him, "Yo, what you learned to train and is not going on out here. Mm -hmm. These are innovative ways to survive." Like that first scene. Uh, where uh, Paul uh, c climbs out of the trench and charges through the battlefield, and he shoot, he you know he's saying he empties his rifle, and then he uh, ends up you know hacking the person with his uh, shovel. There's a scene uh -huh. in the uh, the 1979 version where uh, Cat is explaining to a bunch of new cadets that are coming in. Or new privates that are coming in says, "Yo, this the, using your uh, battalion on the end of your rifle is is uh, timely and it can get you killed. It's quicker to use the shovel and hit them here and you know hit them in certain spots and you can end them quickly. And uh, that was a quick way of showing that in the newer film. And I thought the things that they did to to uh, not necessarily speed up those types of storytelling moments that were in the 1979 version." But uh, in, encapsulate that, but also oh, sure. tell, but to also tell more of the uh, the vigorous parts that they had to go through as far as the the battlefield. I thought that was a brilliant switch up. No, well, would you say that's due to more? Would you say that's due more to them having to uh, not having the much technology back then that they had to actually do that character development, 
opposed uh, to I think what's that, going yeah. on. I, I Go think ahead, back man. then it was more dialogue heavy. A lot of your movies were dialogue right. heavy back then. Um, I was just gonna say it was closer to the book, also. But go ahead, man. Okay, but uh, now uh, again, I bring this up a lot. Uh, we're we're in a generation of uh, people who have very short attention spans. So if you mm -hmm. throw a movie up there with a lot of dialogue, it's not gonna it's not gonna land. Especially well. a war movie. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna land well with this generation. So with them, I think uh, making it adaptation of cutting the dialogue and doing it more by showing them showing the action of it uh helps to keep you more engaged in the film no i think the, i think the uh the technology does help as well though because it 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 definitely made the uh battle scenes a lot more interactive versus the overhead shots and explosions that you get from the older version mm -hmm. and so in here i felt like you were definitely uh engulfed into the, the actual warfare that that was going on and taking place i felt a lot more closer to it and a lot more uh and i mean it was a lot more layered for me with this one and that and that and i and i gotta lend that to the sound effects mm -hmm. and the flavor and the uh the cinematography and the special graphics, you know, and, what the, mean? Wardrobe. Like and the wardrobe, because even even in the older one, you would get, you know, explosions and, and, and shots. But there was no that, you know, there was like a natural vibration in the screen when all of that stuff was happening on this. Mm -hmm. one. In the old one, you would you would get, like you say, more dialogue that would took place over. It. And you say that, too. This this uh, series actually well, gave, I, it gave my uh, surround sound a nice little workout. Like, work out yeah right yeah i woke up the kids i was like oh shit let me let me try and dial this down it, a little bit because it was it, and, like, and like i appreciate it like i keep saying that it didn't romanticize the war like we didn't really get caught up in someone loving somebody and trying to get back to them it was more like we are here and we trying to get through this you yeah. know what i'm saying like this is war you know, so even though they have the part where the guy, not uh, even, not even, the I didn't even feel that hype. And just, to, I'm sorry to jump in there, but I didn't feel go, like go, I go was ahead. trying to get. I didn't feel like I was trying to get through this. I felt like I was stuck in this yeah. and not in control of getting out of this. You know, getting through. This. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, like I'm them. just trying to like wake them. up the next day. <laughs> I'm just trying to wake up tomorrow, man. That's it. Right. Even when my man's went to go, and he had like the little, the little picture of the woman and shit. I didn't. I, I was so happy they didn't spend so much time on that. You know what I'm saying? You know how some of these movies get, these war movies mm -hmm. get, where they end up and then, oh, he falls in love with the girl that they're selling the goose from and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy it, it didn't end up like that. It was like, this is war. In a time of war, this is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And yes, you have loved ones back at home, but you have, like, to, to Mel's point, you got to wake up the next day. You're trying to get home, you got to wake up the next day. You know what I'm saying? Even like the part where uh, Paul got shot in the head, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, with his helmet and shit. Like, I was like, damn, they're going to kill Paul. I'm like, that's fast. They're going to yeah. kill Paul off? You Not only that, saying? when they was uh, killing his buddies off, that shit happened yeah. kind of quick, it seemed like to me. I was I was liking the the, uh, the tempo and of that, like the pacing of the movie overall. It just... It just kept you, you know, on that roller coaster ride. Like anybody like, could go at any time. Yeah, like, like in the in the in the earlier one, I, I hate to keep referencing it, but this is the look at me. So I don't I don't see it as a short bus. I just like to point out the differences. Uh -huh. In the earlier one, you actually saw them take times of refuge and go on leave and everything else because they entered the war earlier and went through you pretty much the duration of the war. You yeah. know what I mean? Okay. And so in this one, you don't get that, but. So there isn't really like, you know, a, a, a reprieve or a time to, you know, actually take a breath in this at all. It's just nonstop. Go, go, go. No, I enjoyed that part, man. Like it it really. Uh, the pacing was was good at points. There were some some points where I felt like it, it drug out a little bit. And that's. That's where I ran into some of the shortcomings on it. So. Shout, but shout it. Shout, but shout it. 
Hold up, before before you go over that, damn it. I'm sorry, bro, be, because I know we're not familiar with these actors, but I just did want to give a shout out to the acting within the film. Okay. I thought the acting was done phenomenal. Uh I really, I really uh like Paul's character and Kat's character together and uh all the friendships that were you know yeah. intertwined within. I really uh did kind of get a good connection to that, but I do have more in, involved with that statement as well, uh, along with the acting uh in, in the short bus. But go ahead. Oh, I thought you was gonna shout their names out. Uh oh no, oh, I'm also, I'm sorry. I, I mean, because we're not familiar with them, so I didn't really want to get into the names, but we could shout out some names, but yeah. Uh, uh Paul is uh uh Felix Camara. Cam uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, bro. My bad, man. He mean bush. It's name. all good. And Cat was uh Albrecht Schutz. Albrecht Schutz, yeah. Um no man, they definitely they definitely did a lot with uh carrying the movie. Um they did their thing. They did their damn thing. No, um, I, was as, ass, I would say. As far as and, uh, and and one more look at me. Did mm -hmm. you all look watch this in German? I actually watched this in German. I thought it hit real good in German. I did mine in English dub. Uh but I mean still I wasn't able to really hear it. It was more so me reading the movie. So Okay, and this was actually the first time this was told from the German perspective. Uh, the first two movies were done, you know, from a you know American perspective. So. Okay, yeah. Well, go I, mean, I felt a I, I did feel a conflict though. Like these, like the Germans lost the lost the war. Like we all know that, but I found right. myself rooting for the Germans just because well, of Paul. I, well, I don't Just see that as a Paul. no, but I don't see that as a conflict hyphen. I see that as uh, you got to respect for human life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see the humanity in all these people, and you understand the the uh, the unnecessity or the uh, frivolousness of of the, of the conflict, so to speak, because of how it ended and everything. And, and you know what I'm saying? It really was nothing that was gained on either side for the most part in terms of the overall grand scheme of history. You know what I'm saying? You look at it and you look at it in them terms, you know what I'm saying? Man, I keep thinking because they came thing. back harder with World War II. It wasn't like you shut us yeah. down, you know what I'm saying? So it was like I just don't I don't I, I see I don't see it as a negative, and that was something my lady said. She said she had a conflict with having to see it from their viewpoint and take that side because of how the story's been, I guess, propagated to us mm -hmm. through our uh, education system or whatever. Uh, but in, in actuality, these are people. You see what I'm saying? This They say at the end of the movie, they lost 17 million people on this battlefield Jeez, and no and no ground was gained on this front. Inches. A battle of inches. <laughs> And that's craziness. I, th I think that was my most uh, real, I guess you can call it a real fact, like hard-hitting fact. I was like, damn. When I read that at the end, I was like, 17 million? Well, 17 and million like, well, does, inclu does, does include civilian life, too. But mm -hmm. go ahead. Correct, correct. I'm just talking about lives. 17 yeah. million lives. And like, to Mel's point, only inches were gained. Man. That's on that front. That's on that front now. Well, on that Ohio's front, not, not, the whole, not the whole you did it. And that's not even counting COVID. What? Um, <laughs> what? Well, they, COVID. Didn't, they didn't have that back then, huh? Uh -oh. No, but right <laughs> after this, they had the uh they had the uh was it what the was Spanish it? flu? Was it no, it was influenza or something like that. That that it was like an outbreak of that right after that. It was a, it, it was a uh, pandemic of that right after the war from uh, all of the uh, dead bodies on the ground and moving all of the sick people and stuff like that. That shit spread a lot of the plague around too. They flew in. What? What they flying to? Boy, influenza, influenza, bro, influenza. They flew in. 
I don't what. Anyway, uh, man. No, no, this is no diddle zone here. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my god. Uh, I know it. My excuse me. My uh my shortcoming might just be nitpicking, but I would have asked. Like, yeah, I mean. This was a great movie. Do not get me wrong at all. I wish they would have did a little character building uh, like pre him going into war. Just a little bit more with Paul. Just let me get a little Just show the closeness between him and his friends. Yeah. Let me let me get a little bit of connection with him before y'all throw me into that situation with him. Although I did still connect with him and his point of view. It, I thought it would have been uh, a lot stronger. Of a well, in the, go ahead. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry oh, about that. Did. But again, in the 1979 version, they did that. They did that very well. And to me, the difference between that and this one, I prefer this one. You prefer this? Uh, one? I, uh, and just because it gives you more of the sense of the government's reaction to these people. Oh yeah, they that don't these are them. just yeah, these are just bodies on the field. We need more bodies to replace them when they're gone, and uh. It's a straight up board game to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like they said in the beginning, it's not about the individual soldier; it's about the whole body. Yeah, you know. And uh, I, I kind of like that perspective of it because you still got the attachment of the friendship within the film, and uh, to me, that part, that part didn't play a strong role when when I watched the old, the older one. Okay. Okay. Like I kind of wish that I kind of wish it would have bring a brought a more bit of a camaraderie between the friends, even though it was told and it was like we knew there was story there, yeah, and whatnot. But to have that more, and then when their deaths would have been meant so much more, like Paul's no, revenge would have meant so much more. Like even if it it could have been like an extra ten minutes just before. They go to sign in or something. Just them, like just fucking around with each other, and not e- well, not even that, because uh, like you say, the ten minutes could even been used in like a, a training type of situation. Even as that, well. yeah, something. Uh, just mm-hmm. like 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 what Haven says to, to kind of show the, the the built camaraderie everyone had, and and them yeah, and the bond, them saying that yeah. they were gonna stay together in that moment versus saying it in battle. So to yeah, speak. yeah. So that that was that was my biggest yeah because I would have left them, you know. Yeah. Man, now let me ask you this: knowing the war is about to end because all the soldiers did. I'm not going back out. Yeah, I'm are sorry. you gonna take that bullet Hell to the head? No. I'm gonna be the one dude that bucked up. Like, man, I ain't finna go back, man. So you're gonna take the bullet head. to the head, then you're gonna hey. take the execution. Yeah. What about you, Heidi? No, I'm, I, I, I don't think I'm taking a bullet to the head, but I'm definitely not going to be running full force in that bitch. Oh, no. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Oh, yeah. But oh, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, not, oh, yeah. I'm not in the front of the line. I ain't taking I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm still not trying to die. But at the exact same time, bro, like, I, I'm going to go gonna, out here, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be out here. I'm going to scream when we go, ah, and then I'm going to fall right there, like right there at the line and just keep tripping. For a little bit till everybody go up. No, nah, how Paul was playing dead and how he was found up under the rubble and all them other scenes. Like he really wasn't involved in a lot of them battles like that. I'm playing like that and I'm getting up out of there. I'm gone. That'd be my yeah, because it wasn't yeah. really no bombs being dropped. No, at all. it was because they was they were not expecting they weren't expecting the attack. Yeah, I'm well, I'm chilling. Right, they were done. They were done with the war. Yeah, I'm chilling. They was drinking wine and everything. Which is considered yep. uh, uh, uh damn near a uh, war crime almost. Mm. Hey. You ain't supposed to drink on the battlefield. What they was they was on the mm. they was on the recession field or whatever, not recession. <laughs> oh wow. He said the recession field. <laughs> no, this, was, this was uh in the older one. my biggest shortcoming. My biggest, my biggest shortcoming was the camaraderie, the camaraderie between our uh, our core bunch of uh, actors. Yeah. Now, in the older one, my shortcoming from this one, in the older one, like I said, they they entered the war three years in. I wish they would have showed it 
uh, earlier on because throughout this war, the flamethrowers were developed, the tanks were being developed. That shit wasn't mm -hmm. that, that wasn't at the start of the war. This was their first encounter with these uh, with this artillery, and uh, and and, and it kind of showed it, but okay. it really didn't explain it. You know what I'm saying? Like you saw yeah. them busting yeah, the streets, not really knowing how to take it out. They was like, what but uh, when that motherfucker was rolling well, over, they, the top yeah. Over. <laughs> but in the older one, it explained, "Yo, the tanks is just being created right now." No, and basically, your point, Mike. Now new. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But based off what you're saying, the actors did a good job of portraying that. But mm -hmm. I would appreciate it the, the storyline for that. Because when the flamethrowers is out, the look on their faces is like, these motherfuckers <laughs> sent us a flame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are these, yeah, I would, give, I would give that more to the director. Are these fucking, the are these fucking tanks? Are these fucking tanks? Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I would, I, I, I would, I would, I would, I would give that. that more to the direction than the actors. But the actors execute yeah. as well. Yes, I yes, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. No, man, it was that was that was very well done. Um, I don't know, man. What other short buzzes did we have? I, there, like I said, there were some some points in there where there, uh, I felt like a little lulled, just a little bit. Um, and actually, strangely, it's where they were. Uh, they were. This I guess one was, ends better than the last one. Okay. And the last one, you don't see him actually die on camera. You just see he was writing something and gets <sighs> shot on the field and kind of falls over. And you see like the letter in the mud and shit like Damn. that and get covered by some water. And this one, that last scene with him sitting against the wall, still body, eyes closed, and then the circle, the, uh, the, the circle, yeah, the full circle that, that happens from him collecting. Uh, dog tags in the earlier parts of his dog tag mm -hmm. being collected, and not necessarily his dog his dog tag being collected, but him being, you know, kind of straightened up like he did his homie in the beginning, and the young boy was collecting dog tags and straightened him up because he saved his life or whatever. In that moment, I thought that was phenomenal, right? Yeah, yeah, man, it, that that one scene too, uh, just the final seconds right before. They say ceasefire, man. You hit it. Oh my God. Oh. I was like, dog. I, you know, I, I, you supposed to have you again. Yeah, but again, I think that's how he wanted to go. I don't think I don't I, I think the, this one I don't think he showed, wanted to go back. I, I think this one clearly showed that he was not prepared to go back to normal life after all the stuff he faced. Yeah. No, nah, he he did the full transition, which I thought they did phenomenally well. But again, like I was saying, there were some lulled parts uh, where I think they were trying to input a little bit of comedic relief, like with the uh, the farmhouse and whatnot. And then that fucking turned tragic at the end. <laughs> like, I want, I want, I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to see that. I'm like, so you got shot by the kid? Did you end up killing the kid? You know what I'm saying? But like, I wanted no, the to kid see that. got out. The kid yeah, got the kid off, but left. but that kind of explained the uh. The tragedy of them not having food because you got to yeah. remember during the world war one uh I, I believe it was the the united kingdom or something that, that basically shut down they they import export they really oh, yeah. didn't get they no I get getting shit in like so they 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 had to be innovative and, and and in the first one that was that was thoroughly explained with cat's character that he was able to find food when there was no food yeah and I, I thought that was cool though that the irony part in that, but um, it was a little bit lulled. Like it, it, it felt like it was taken away from the action. And I know that was supposed to be like the little calm, cool, comedic relief part. In the first situation, it was totally. And then what, what really captured it was the last one that they did, where I was like, oh shit, this shit didn't flip now. Nah. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck it. oh, oh. But I, I enjoyed that first one. And they was running with the goose, and the goose head was oh, all like, you know, what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. popping this shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna they goose. were fucking with Gertrude up. They throwing Gertrude across. They Man. said they was having all this uh, camaraderie with this them hiding and cooking the goose and eating yeah. the goose, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think that was a good. I think that was a good scene to show the closeness, and then they try to go back to the. You can't go back to the well too many times. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. They went. They went. They went. I think they, they, they went right back to the same. 
do you think there was a lack of dialogue in the film? Yes. Yeah. A, a smidgen. It was. And, and a some smidgen. And that, that dialogue would have helped build, build a character and also a relationship. Mm-hmm. And it would have filled that silence, which I think they, they purposely put that silence in there to make you kind of uncomfortable along with that that one uh, the, that I don't know if it's, it's a sound. Um, that um, shit. They kept playing that shit throughout, bro, man. Shit. Crazy flavor. Bro, if you, if you ever see the rats running, get to going. You know what I'm saying? The rats to tell you the story. <laughs> no, that mug, that mug Stephen A said if a nuclear bomb hit, only thing that's gonna survive is the rats, the roaches, and cowboys fans. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He ain't lying though. He you, ain't lying. God you no. gotta follow the you gotta follow the rats, man. No, they know what the fuck was going on. That tune that they were playing through the whole thing. Burn, burn. That shit was crazy because it was it's perfect. Like it was eerie, but it was like you was intrigued at the same time. Like, what the hell? That shit was cerebral, bro. Yeah, man. Like right, that was what's happening. And they kept dropping it at perfect times. Like, I was just like, damn. Oh, yeah. That's just that shit was uh the cerebral. The short buses, the short buses, the, the the short, the short buses aren't things that I'm mad about. The short buses are more so things I would would have enhanced the. Yeah. Sound yeah, that's me. what it. That's what it's it doesn't take. Actually, the short buses don't really take away for me. It just, yeah. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, it just what I what I would have wished want more of. We always we always turn it to something else, but that was originally what the short bus was supposed to be. How we can always uh. Go about no, but it. I, I it. think the flavor in this was definitely cerebral at the same time visceral. Uh. Mm. Niggas leave some good words. Yeah, like the impact of it. Like I said, I felt like I was there. Like I felt like, like Lamil said, his his speakers got a workout, and I felt like when that screen was shaking, I thought shit in my room might be, might have been shaking at the same. Yeah, exactly. I did look around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's shout out to uh, Volker Volker Bertelman. He was a uh, good, good, good shout out for him. Yeah, yeah man, he did well he did deserved. His did his thing with that man. Great choices in uh, what he did with the tanks, what he did with uh, mm. a lot of the artillery, uh, a lot of the explosions, the body parts like, being ripped off and shit. Like it was. Yeah. Uh, um, the the bullets hitting the helmet, the bullets whizzing past. Uh, the ad lib sounds of, of of moans in the backgrounds and things like that. He just, yeah, it just worked for me, man. It it, it brought the grimness of the uh, cinematography to a uh, reality. Man, for real. No, that was that's that's pretty spot on, man. Anything else we want to touch on? Anything else with this flavor? Because it, it, I mean, I know the flavor slap. So, uh, the flavor, the flavor did slap. Like I'm. I, the part for me, what I'm trying to tell y'all is when when Paul was so gun ho, you know what I'm saying? He was into it, listening. You hear that? You know what I'm saying? Then he took that shot, and then all of a sudden, boom, I was like, damn, they done killed Paul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the way the bullet, <laughs> yeah, the way the bullet sounded when it hit his helmet, the spark, you yeah. know what I'm saying, from the bullet, and then where he fell, and then his buddy was like, Paul, no, 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 Paul, 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 Paul. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought Paul was gone. I did. I thought Paul was dead. I was like, damn, not Paul. No, this this like, rivals shoot, relocate. Uh, <laughs> shoot. This rivals <laughs> movies like uh what was it had that big sound in it? Cloverfield had that big sound oh, in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh Lone Survivor had great uh uh gun scenes in it. Uh, extraction. You know, uh, extraction uh, was another one. Extraction, yeah. These these were these are movies that had get great uh gunfight scenes in them. Uh, man, it man mirrors. It, B. Man yeah, he was another one. I would I would even throw I would even throw movies like uh the big ones like Avatar and stuff like that with this. I mean, the way the sound was done in comparison to uh what was done with the screenplay, I thought it was. 
I thought it was competing very well. Yeah, I heard him agree that man versus B was good. Though. I just want to point that out. He said, "No, I didn't say man versus B. No, man, you better stop. Go back, you better go back and listen to it. I slept it in. <laughs> this damn yak, bro. You can't. Comp- you know that don't count, bro. You gotta take it back. I've been drinking yak. We got it. If I can make it rhyme, it count. We got it. Open. <laughs> It's open. It's open. It's open. <laughs> got you, bitch. <laughs> oh man, dog. Let's uh, let's switch it up and have some, have some, have some fun with this, man. What uh, what other pronouns can we give? Benjamin, hell. Oop, that was the wrong one. My bad. But y'all, y'all know what I'm saying. Man, you get this. Oh well. What's your pronouns? I want to play that whole man song. <laughs> <laughs> that old man snapped. <laughs> I am a man. Um, no, one of the pronouns I wanted to give this was death of innocence. Death oh, of wow. Ooh. Wow. Now, I'm, not, I'm not even going to try to come back. That was great. But that's exactly what happened. Ooh. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, that is exactly what happened, man. Uh, uh, that was good. Boy to a man from a, the aging of man. <laughs> boy to a man. Uh, boys, uh, to, yeah. boys to men. <laughs> Let's don't wait till the waters run dry. No, no. That's... Stop. Stop. Uh, <laughs> stop. Stop. Uh, wide eye uh, wanderer. Yeah. Uh, Alliance for lambs. Whoo. Mm, okay. Lamb for lions. Idea. Which one was it? Was it lambs for lions? Yeah, lambs for lions. Yeah. God damn, that was a. You know what I'm saying? Sink or swim. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, these are lions on the battlefield working for people who are lambs who you know <coughs> sit mm. behind the cloak. Oh no, I was saying that they was the lions and they were sending the lambs out to be slaughtered. Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Why well, they okay. sitting they lying asses up? That's that, 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 that from the bull bullpen. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I like that. Uh, that's more of a rename, though. No, nah, this I, I felt like this was still more than a war movie, like it definitely, definitely was. was. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I don't know. I like that first one you said, Mel. I like that first one. I didn't forget what it was already. What I say? Uh, I a loser's so- tale. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, them niggas did. Them niggas didn't lose. Shit, but I enjoyed the film. This nigga's good. They did. They had one. Uh, <laughs> somebody pointed out there was one uh, scene in there where they had. Everybody who died in the order, they were in line and in oh, order. Yeah, yeah, from when they were marching into warfare, from the, uh, when they first uh, got the uniforms. Yeah, yeah. they died. Mm. They, they showed them within the order they died. Yeah, that's true. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. That is making that much colder. Yeah, man, they was doing some crazy shit with this. Man, it was a good movie though. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and have some fun with this gentleman. It is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. This is uh trenches and inches. Trenches and inches. Okay. Okay. Death mission. Death mission. Death mission. Bombs over back that never mind. Um uh, I, I saw I saw you was going with that thing. <laughs> I saw you was going with that, bro. I saw it. It was, it was good for a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, tanked mission. Uh, fire starter. Okay. Pokemon. <laughs> Paul and attempts. Paul and the Temptations. <laughs> uh, 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 Paulie no. not sure. Paulie not sure. No. God <laughs> damn it. This nigga's good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that is... 
fuck? Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. buddy. Yo, because the whole live? fact that he got in on the Ford signature was yeah. incredible, too. And they, when they was reading yeah. them death, oh. them, them, uh, them uh, years of, of people who died, when they was reading them off, I was like, man, these are all kids at the time. These motherfuckers is, none of them was, the war was over in what, uh, 1919? Yeah. 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 They was born in 1900. These are 16, 17 year old kids. It was all babies. Yeah. All of them was babies. Damn, Mike, I didn't even I I ain't even uh put that together that he got in on before his signature. That that just took it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Children of my father. Children of Ooh. father father Germany. Yeah. He signed his own death note. Yeah. Children of the father. Damn. Man. Death note. There you go. All right. Kids in the hall. Who? That's deep. <laughs> That's deep and funny. That's deep and funny. <laughs> <laughs> Adolescent <Yeah>. body bags. <laughs> Operation body bags. No, nah, I, I was saying post- bodies and bodies and bodies, bodies and bodies. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta make that a meme. That gotta be a meme, goddamn. That's that Simpson shit. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's that. Uh, that's that shit from uh, Franklin shit from uh, what's the day? Snowflake. Cat and the boys. Oh uh, <laughs> no, Pokemon, Pokemon, goddamn it! Because that's all they was doing after them. Them bullets went. Yeah. Uh, hands in the pants. Point break. <laughs> What'd you say? Point what? Point break. <laughs> I thought you said so. I thought you said point great. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> Sliding on the ops. The goose is cooked. I was gonna say that. I, I like that one. I like that. I was gonna say that one too. I was gonna say that one. Duck, uh, duck, goose. Yeah, I was gonna say that one. Uh, gooseberry was another one. <laughs> uh, A few crack. Early duckling. The goose is loose. Uh, a few cracked eggs. Ooh. A few good men. Ooh. Don't count your eggs before they hatch. Uh, no graduation. Yeah. Uh, Polly wasn't a cracker. He said Polly wasn't no cracker. Um, <laughs> end game, bitch. I'm 19. Honor, no return. <laughs> One minute to win it. Uh, buzzer beater. <laughs> Can I One see your receipt? Give me a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> minute man, man. Oh, oh. no second chances. <laughs> oh, that hurt my heart when you said that too, because that's a goal. <laughs> Dog, final, glo- final glory. Yeah. Uh, time's up. Damn. That's a good one too. That, that nigga's good. Uh, Tick tock. <laughs> Looking at us. <laughs> oh. No tank for you. Tick tock, goddamn it, that's mine. I like that one. Four, you know, three, two, one. <laughs> <I like TikTok. laughs> he gone. Yeah. No mother goose. Yeah, I'm going with TikTok. I'm, I'm done. I, I know when to grace the ball out. You said TikTok. Are you going with the TikTok? Yeah, what you just said. Didn't you say TikTok? Yeah, I said. Oh, no, TikTok. I like that one I said earlier, but I forgot like it. Another one. I, I can't. Well, yeah, I was trying to remember what you said earlier. Minute I man. Forgot. Minute man, cool. Uh, but TikTok is cool as far as the hashtag if we use it. Right? No, no reunion. Yeah. Uh... Okay, no response. All right. Oh. 
Thought that, thought that one meant something, guys. Missed it by this much? <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> a, new, a New the York German, minute. You said what? The German New York boys. minute. The a German boys. Minute. Was they from New York? No. No, I'm just saying a New York minute. Yeah. What's it? It was German. Yeah, I'm like, what's yeah. a German minute? What? <laughs> Father's no sons. Berlin minute. A Berlin minute. <laughs> you said a Berlin uh, minute. <laughs> no, I think I don't know. I think either Minute Man or TikTok, whichever. Trenches of tears. Stop on the dime. Yeah. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Down to my last. This is not. It's not my uniform. Miss Miss yeah. Bang Bang. I'm gonna fuck with Madden. So hey, this belongs to somebody else. Oh, it was too big for him. Backstabbers. No tags. No tag backs. Backstabbers, backstabbers. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, yeah. That's what he just said. Okay. Well, it sounds like a winner. Go ahead, Mel. That's yours. He go. T- <laughs> he gonna take it for me. <laughs> I did just that say was it. yours, man. Yeah, I take that. Yeah, you did say it. You said it first, man. You said it first, and then he said it right afterwards. That's his confirmation, man. That's great minds thinking alike. Backstab- backstabbers. Yeah. Backstabbers. Damn, man. I think we got it, y'all. Backstabbers. It makes me keep on watching my back, too. Every time I think about that end, like, damn, man, that motherfucker was just hiding in the darkness. Just Creeping on my enemies. Who back there? Uh Look like somebody back there in that upper seat up in there. What? You can't see them. They back. No, I cannot, man. Okay. Hey, what y'all think about that? The 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 day they they just say they say it's stopping the movie is uh November eleventh, which is eleven eleven at the eleventh hour, and they say eleven thousand people died on that day. Damn. Mm. So let's call that bitch eleven. Ocean's eleven. Eleven. ish. Oh, World War eleven. 11 ish. Okay, I'm done. I'm out. No one, one. What? No one, one. No woman, no cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I... Lost Tell my ones. mama I love her. The lost one. You just lost one? Yeah. Oh. That was too many words. I say TikTok or Minute Man or the one I said earlier. I like TikTok. If y'all remember, no, I like TikTok. Put in the comment for us. Put in the comment. Uh, uh, okay. Because uh, uh, we was rapid firing on some drunk shit. Uh, so you yeah. make sure that you put the one that you prefer. My cup is empty. Yeah. You make sure you put the one that you prefer in the comments. But we going to go with Minute Man or TikTok. What y'all say? Which one? What I like TikTok. TikTok. I like TikTok for I say TikTok. TikTok. TikTok it is. I do too. I, like I still want it. I still want. Hey, all right. I got me one. They want to take a brother down. Y'all see how this hey, man, shit works. Good job, right, good job Mel. Take, they want to take. Where to be, Mel? You help. Hey, take where to be? <laughs> where to be, Mel? Good job. You see me over here. I'm just happy right. a black man won. How hey. about that? Hey, hey con- 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 congratulations! <laughs> Don't try. Let's talk it bro. <laughs> I'm, just about happy, about I'm just happy. I'm just happy a black man won because you see, that's, I love everybody. You see, what I'm that's saying? what you're saying. So we ain't never gonna give hey. token time one. When he what? Won, no, matter, no matter how creative. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him now. Game on, baby. Game on. Oh man, <laughs> I don't care what he say. I'm like, ah, uh, it's just no never for me again. We be on. He'd be a minute on minute one thirty nine. He's more still arguing about. <laughs> oh man! Like it's, like it's a no for me, dog. Oh, well, there you have it, man. Tick the time. official like that one. true view 
rename for All Quiet on the Western Front is Tick Tock. And the official True View score is Set Your Alarm. A four. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, this is definitely a high rewatchability, very high recommendation. Um, man, I really, I really enjoyed this. Um, again, if if nothing else, if even if you take away the war and stuff, man, I I really enjoyed the emotional transition of the main character yeah. and uh, just seeing just the the degradation of his values and his his value for life itself and uh watching his comrades fall like it was it hit me it hit me it show me show me where you strong oh that's the wrong one sorry damn um, that's what we should have said show me where no you nigga work. that's what we should have said <laughs> but I, 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 <laughs> hey y'all get that y'all back. but y'all no, go back some of the other episodes man y'all go ahead Tell us where that quote comes from. But uh, <laughs> I do agree. I, I do agree with Mel on that, man. Like, I would definitely rewatch this. Recommendation is high on this. I enjoyed this film. Um, only thing I wish it was a little bit more showing of camaraderie between the uh, the soldiers. That was it. But I, I enjoyed this. Get out here and watch it. I like any. I really enjoy period pieces. Uh, World War One, World War Two, Middle. Uh, uh, middle ages, things like that. So uh, this is right up. This is right up my alley. No, this was definitely in my wheelhouse as well. This was one I've been rooting to do for a while. So I'm glad we were able to do it. Uh, this is a, a recommendation and a rewatch for me easily. I think it's an easy rewatch as well, just because uh, you find things in the characters when you rewatch it uh, at the same time that if you've seen the earlier one that they did very well in connecting the two, uh, but still keeping it original to a sense. Uh, I, I, I hope this one does well in the uh, Academy Awards and uh, whenever it, it's up for it, I think it's deserving. Uh, I like the fact that it's actually done in German from a German perspective. Uh, and when you watch it in German, I think you get a, a, a much deeper grasp for the acting and the uh, character development that is involved. Because I think the language changes. Because yeah. I, I rewatched certain scenes. I watched it. I watched it in German and I watched it in English. So it was like I said, it's an easy rewatch for me. Uh, but yeah, I would say check it out, man. Going forward, this is this is uh these are these are definitely movies that I like. If you're gonna do if you're gonna do a lot of brutality, if you're gonna do a lot of, uh, you know, of the gore and you know, grim type of things, I think these are the ways that they can be can be displayed with the historic value and the story that comes with it, and uh, somewhat of a reason. I don't see reason in war, but somewhat of a reason, in war, you know, without just an, you know unnecessary chopping motherfuckers up because I'm a psychotic. No, man, that's what's up. That's a good point. But uh no, nah, man, let us know if we got it right. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I know what you meant to say. Yeah. Uh let <laughs> <laughs> he did it himself. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Hey man, y'all let us know if we got it right. We got hey, it over there working on the side hustle, dog. You better keep that t- <laughs> Hey, yo, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you let us know if we got it right or wrong, man. Trueviewpodcast.com, man. That's Trueview Podcast. T R U V U E Podcast.com, man. Thank you guys for rolling with us over at the YouTube, man. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the thumbs up. Uh, be sure to hit that bell for notifications too, because videos are dropping every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, yeah, man, thank y'all so much for the support. Be sure to uh, drop, you know, uh, your renames for the movies that we do in the in the comments, man. Who knows, man? We might pick one of you out, and you guys get a, a gift card to an AMC somewhere or something. But uh, 
Yeah, man. Just thank you for the support, man. We know that your time is very precious over at the True View Podcast. And we, you know, just want to help you cut and weed through the bullshit that's out there and give you the real view on these movies. Staying true with the truth. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Put your ear pod in. Everybody that got these New Year's resolutions, get on the treadmill and listen to the true view. Now, don't laugh while you're running at full speed because we're not liability for the insurance Mm-mm. on any of these causes that might happen to your bodily harm. But, you know, if you're sitting at your, your, your work office desk in your cubicle, it's a good listen, man. And I think we are accurate on our uh, session of the films. And uh, I appreciate every listener that we get, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like I say, subscribe and join the tribe, man. Alley you to my guy. Oh, look at that. John Morant with it. Uh, yeah. I want to say that, uh, guys, go out here and uh, check us out. He would uh, definitely, definitely uh, go ahead. I wasn't, it was opposite than what I went <laughs> used to. <laughs> but yeah, you used to catch the out, uh, so great. Yeah, if you go over on Amazon, guys, go ahead, check me out. Denez, uh, hyphen X Cochran over on Amazon. That's D as a delightful, E is an excellent, N is a nice, E is an exciting, two Z's like Zebra, Cochran like Johnny, C O C H R A N. Go ahead and check me out over there on Amazon and pick up my book, um, The Thoughts and Quotes of Hyphen X, A Voice from Amongst the People, or one of my other uh, five books that I have on there. So go ahead and uh, check me out. Grab that, and also don't forget to subscribe and you know, set those notifications over on the YouTube. Thank you to our thirty thousand listeners. Appreciate y'all. Whoop, damn. Hey, yo, check it out. Uh, that was like that alley oop to Chris Paul in the All Star game. Damn. I was, yeah, I well, the you know, like the it was. He, he caught. It was on Orthodox. Orthodox. <laughs> man, y'all wild, man. Y'all know what we always say here: the true view podcast man friends how many of us have them watch your back huh go watch some shit god damn it man true view podcast a bunch of different views (laughs) (laughs) the boys keep it real man i really like listening to them man they funny (laughs) yeah They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? (laughs) You're, you're, you're.